Hey guys, C Wade here doing Hack This Site Realistic Mission 13. Uh, it's just a little curious. I was checking out my profile and it looks like I'm down about 1500 points. It says I didn't do Realistic Mission 8, 9, 10, or 11. Didn't do JavaScript Mission 7. And then I did all the EXT basic missions and it says I did not do any of those. So if any of you guys have any clue, leave a comment. It'd be appreciated. We're going to go ahead and get started. The Albanian Republican Party Realistic 13 mission. We're going to go to the Albanian election site. And what we would be doing is viewing page source, checking for form action, manipulation. Uh, and we would end up on press releases. And after we would view it, after our PHP extension, repress.php, we would add in a question mark, check for a query, and uh, we would get an error in our query. And by looking at the source generated here, by the looks of it's PHP, uh, we would get from it that it's trying to get some information from the directory speeches slash passwords slash and then another subdirectory. And it's going to be an, MD, an MD5 hash of the plain text speeches with the capital S. So it's going to be speeches slash passwords slash and then the MD5 hash. So we're going to go ahead and navigate there. Uh, speeches slash passwords. And as you can see when we get there it says subdirectory. So basically what we want to do is get the MD5 hash of speeches with the capital S because that's what it's looking for for the next directory. So there's this tool called JKane. It's freeware. You can download it from the YouTube description box. Links on the side. And basically with this tool you can uh, generate hash values and calculate hash, uh, hashes of MD5 and SHA-1 uh, for plain text. Uh, but that's not really what this uh, JKN application is for. That's just a sub tool. Uh, really, what this is, this is for is it searches MD5 or SHA1 hashes on various websites online, which is convenient. Uh, it beats uh, wasting CPU power, uh, RAM, on some can enable brute force or dictionary attack, or if you're just using rainbow tables with CUDA GPU attacks just you know this is a lot more convenient you know you might want to check it out online I think it's got it checks 30 different websites it's jkane it's freeware so we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna go into tools we're gonna go to the hasher and for the md5 input we're gonna type in speeches and notice that it needs to be a capital S because if it isn't it's gonna be a total different result so capital S we're going to take that result, minimize that for now, and we're going to go to that subdirectory. And we should be at the index of speeches, slash passwords, slash, and then that hash value. And we're going to notice a FIP file, passwords.fip. And when we go there, we're going to notice two different MD5 hashes separated by our symbol right here. We know that it's two different MD5 hashes because there aren't any symbols in an MD5 hash. Uh, MD5 hashes are straight letters and numbers, so they're going to be two different MD5 hashes, and that's commonly how, uh, basically just how lagging scripts read MD5 hashes. So we're going to go ahead and take the first one, load it up in JKane, we're going to search for it, same with the second one. Make sure you don't get that little symbol in there. So we have Mani1 and Admin. And these were in reverse order, so the username is actually going to be Mani1 and the password is going to be Admin. So we got to remember that. Uh, I'll minimize that for now. And what we would be looking for is the Admin panel. We would just search for it, use some, some sort of spider crawler, meta crawler, find uh, the admin panel, or just type in what you think would be like slash login, slash admin, slash C panel, you know. And we're just going to go ahead and type in our info that we got from our reversed uh, MD5 hashes. We got Mani1 and then admin. Submit it. And admin does not match the password for Mani1. 
uh, not now. And this should work theoretically. And basically, uh, for the speeches uh, in our subdirectory earlier, they hashed that. And so, if we would think about it, they could hash directories which they would think are sensitive. And the admin login would be pretty sensitive. So, we would go ahead and hash uh, admin, the plain text of admin. Go ahead and hash that up. And we would go to that directory instead. And you're going to see that this is an admin panel. So we're going to log in with our reverse hash information. It's money one with the password of admin. And that is how you complete Realistic Mission 13. Uh, again, it's JKane. It's a nice application. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching.